The UNEC Air Pollution Convention has over 30 years successful track record in reducing emissions in uh, Europe, in North America, Russia, Central Asia, um, through setting challenging emission targets for the important air pollutants. And uh, through these measures, we've reduced uh, emissions by anything up to 70% over the last 30 years. And we have a very successful track record, I think, which um, has shown really significant reductions in pollutant emissions, improvements in ecosystem damage and, and very great improvements in public health. In the UNEC region, uh, the main sources are road transport, particularly diesels, which are uh, highly emitting uh, vehicles, and industrial emissions and, uh, and particularly power plants, coal-fired power plants and fossil fuel power plants but uh, we've successfully reduced emissions from these in the in the last 30 years but there's still quite a lot to do the problem still isn't solved the convention already covers high middle and low income countries and so we've got a range of uh, experience in in combating pollution in a whole range of, of different economies and i think we've got successful lessons that can be learned in in asia china india and even in south africa where i recently was where many of the many of the problems are very much the same Particles are a very important pollutant and for the first time uh, the UN EC Air Convention uh, is the, the first legal instrument in the world to, to internationally tackle particle emissions and we've recently revised our protocols to do precisely that and we've set challenging emission targets for particles for uh, countries in our region and uh, through that we hope to see major reductions in the probably the most important and carcinogenic air pollutant uh, that we face now.